Hey what's up guys this is Ultar here I'm g bringing you my thoughts on Roadblock WWE's uh, kind of pay-per-view or it's it's a house show that uh, that aired on WWE Network it was kind of like it's like a pay-per-view but uh, still not so uh, yeah it's kind of kind of strange but the uh, Roadblock b uh, came up because uh, People weren't satisfied with Fastlane because Fastlane was on. It was a bad show. I really didn't like it. So I think they came up with Roadblock, pretty much because people were weren't satisfied with Fastlane. It was like when Fastlane last year, uh, when they introduced Fastlane last year, because people hated that uh, Daniel Bryan, but got the. Uh, they threw him out so early in the Royal Rumble, so uh, and of course Roman Reigns winning. So they gave us kind of a curveball with Fastlane that uh, Daniel Bryan will face Roman Reigns, but everyone knew that Roman would go to WrestleMania to face Brock Lesnar. It was uh, they, but uh, they they knew that people weren't satisfied with Roman as champion. So uh, of course we got Seth Rollins with the cash in there, and that was really nice. So yeah, let's start with Roadblock. I thought it was an okay show, nothing more. I didn't, uh, I didn't get really excited about it. But it was some fine wrestling. It, uh, yeah. So uh, let's start with the first match. We had a tag team title match: The New Day versus League of Nations. So this match just came. Uh, I don't even think uh, New Day and League of Nations has been feuding for a couple, maybe a week. So it was really uh, just f a throw-in match. We knew that uh, that uh, League of Nations with Barrett and Sheamus wouldn't win because, yeah, Barrett's not getting anything at the moment. His uh, contract, uh, he's not signing a new con contract, so he's leaving in uh, in the summer. So uh, no way that League of Nations would win. But uh, the match was okay. It was uh, there was a horrible uh, bump for uh, Kofi Kingston where he he jumped from the ropes to uh, Sheamus, I think, and uh, almost landed on his neck or on his head. It was really, ish, really bad. But uh, okay match, nothing more. And uh, Big E, Big E pinned Barrett for the win, and uh, New Day retains. That's all right. That's great, great, because uh, I don't know how New Day will uh, uh, will do it at WrestleMania if they who they're gonna face. I have no idea at the moment. But uh, I don't think it's gonna be League of Nations. Maybe it's another uh, multi-man uh, tag team contest. We we shall see. And next up, we had Chris Jericho coming out doing a heel promo. He really ripped up Canada, but he is Canadian. He said that Canadians suck. It stinks there, and they are behind everyone else in the world. So uh, it was yeah. He was not uh, very kind to Canada, his home uh, country. But uh, yeah, I, I like uh, I like heel Jericho more than babyface Jericho. But uh, what I don't like is his damn trunks. He should have pants, like he had uh, during yeah most of his career. He he got the small uh, speedos, like 2007, I think, when he went heel. And his awesome feud against Shawn Michaels. It was really good. But yeah, he, he turned, started to heal it up against Canada. And uh, to save Canada from Jericho, we are thinking, well, why don't take in Sami Zayn? He can defend Canada. Take in some, someone like that. And what did they do? They put in the real American Jack Swagger in the match to... Uh, Give some honor to Canada, I think. Uh, who knows? But why do why do they take in Jack Swagger? I have no idea. But 
Yeah, Jericho is really good. He's for for the five years old. He's really good in the ring. He does drop kicks in Zagaris. He jumps all over the place, and he rarely botches. But uh, Swagger is uh, a jobber at the moment. He has been a jobber for like last couple of years. He haven't been on uh, WWE uh, TV in uh, a long time. I think his last match was. Uh, uh, the Royal Rumble, yeah, he and Mark Mark Henry won the the pre-show thing to get into the Royal Rumble. Then he and Mark get into the match and uh, gets kicked out after about thirty seconds. So that's good. But uh, okay, match. Uh, Chris Jericho won, of course, because Swagger's a jobber and. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, it. That is, it's not gonna lead anywhere. All right, next match we have the NXT Tag Team Title match: Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy versus the Revival, uh, Dash and Dash and uh, Dawson. Uh, it was really fun to see uh, more NXT in like uh, the main roster stuff. Because I think uh, uh, Enzo and Big Cass will get up to the main roster soon, maybe at WrestleMania. It will be awesome to see them uh, against the New Day. And then take the tag team titles from them. It will be really cool, because they have been in N NXT so long. They are the longest tenured uh, team at NXT at the moment. So uh, I think they will go to the main roster soon. You know, I, I really like uh, Dash and Dawson because uh, they're not the most flashiest tag team. They, they're they just focused on wrestling, old school wrestling, and I love that. But uh, it was a cool match. Uh, Big Cass uh, throws <laughs> Enzo wherever he wants. But uh, the, the dynamic between uh, Big Cass and Enzo were really cool. One small guy, small and mouthy guy, he just... Uh, talks all the time and then the big dude Big Cass but uh, I think Big, big Cass has a uh, longer career in WWE because he is yeah we know that Vince like big, big guys so uh, I think Big Cass will be there for a long time but we didn't get any change in titles here the Revival defeated them uh, Big Cass and Enzo but uh, it was a great match and uh, of course, I watch NXT. I um, I watch these uh, teams for a lot of times, but uh, it's cool to see them up here in the main roster, so more uh, people can see them. All right, next match we had the Divas Championship match: Natalia versus Charlotte. So uh, first, uh, this wasn't supposed to be a t uh, title match, but. Uh, but Natalia just said that uh, the flares are uh, like scared or f chickens, so uh, <laughs> Charlotte putting up the the, t the divas title for the match. But we all knew that Charlotte would retain. That there was nothing. But uh, it was uh, it was really cool to see Natalia again. She is a really good talent that should uh, have more. She has been away for most of the year last year. Because of the Divas revelation. So it was cool to see her again. And uh, they had a really good match. Um, really good Divas match. But it, it was fun to see these two again. They had a really good match at NXT. Last year I think. Or the year before that. And uh, yeah Charlotte retained. So uh, yeah that's it. Next match we had uh, a schedule schedule match between between Bray Wyatt and Brock Lesnar, but we see that uh, Luke Harper has entered the ring with Bray, so uh, it was going to be a handicap match two against uh, one. But Bray leaves the ring as fast as he can and tags in Luke, and uh, yeah, Bray doesn't get in the ring, doesn't even. Uh, do anything against Brock. So why did they schedule the match or present the match Bray versus uh, Brock? So uh, it turned out to be a squash match. Uh, Brock did a lot of suplexes, of course, and then finished off with an F5. 
but uh, so it was not fun. It was really short as well. But it's, it will be interesting to see where uh, this feud leads. But uh, Brock has uh, Dean Ambrose at WrestleMania, while whilst uh, Gray doesn't have any opponent at WrestleMania. It's getting uh, it's three three weeks, so they're gonna have to feud. They uh, have to pick up the feud uh, as soon as possible. Next match was Sami Zayn vs Stardust. Sami Zayn, I love him. It was cool to see him in Canada, getting uh, the audience there. And Stardust, Jobber. I think Stardust should turn into Cody again. It's, his Stardust gimmick has run its course. I don't, uh, I don't like it at all. But this match was okay. Uh, Sami can do better with a better opponent because uh, Cody Rhodes hasn't been himself for uh, some years but uh, okay match uh, Sami Zayn won of course and uh, yeah and now we come to the main event it was Triple H defending his world heavyweight title against Dean Ambrose now we we uh, didn't really know how this match was gonna play out because we people were wondering if maybe they're gonna screw with Wrestlemania by uh, having Dean Ambrose as the champion against Roman Reigns but uh, no but it was an awesome match really good match you see Triple H still got it at 46 years old he's one of the best he hasn't wrestled for a year the, the last Wrestlemania against Sting where they buried Sting, like, yeah, yeah that match, really, really scary. Uh, it was, yeah, the match was really, really cool. I gave it an A. So, well, yeah, that's my thoughts on Roadblock. It was an okay show. It was really boring that uh, no titles changed hands. They all retained. But uh, we should have had... Uh, NXT uh, new uh, tag team champions in NXT. There was it was such an uh, like perfect opportunity to change hands. Like in main roster audience watching, people always say that um, the NXT is the is worth is better than the main roster, and uh, I like them both really. I'm not smack talking the main roster like most people do. I like NXT as well. But uh, they should have changed hands, the titles there. But uh, yeah, this, this story has gone, has not come forward. There was no progress during this pay-per-view. So uh, we're still where we were a week ago. That's too bad. But uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on uh, Roadblock. Please like and subscribe if you want some more wrestling and uh, have a nice day.